Hello lovelies, welcome back to another cosplay behind the scenes vlog. Today I'll be showing you some behind the scenes looks at my Princess Leia Bespin Cloud City look, uh, Poison Ivy, and Dana slash Zul from Ghostbusters. We'll start out with Leia from Empire Strikes Back, the Cloud City Bespin look. I actually received this look back in summer and uh, this is me opening it for the first time. This specific cosplay was one of my dream cosplays to get, and it was kind of a, a big deal to receive it. This cosplay ended up coming a little larger than I had intended it to, so I did some simple fixes with pinning it in to fit me a little bit better. In the future, I may have it tailored a little bit better because some of the areas are too big for me, but I made it work for this first set of pictures and videos. I was super excited to shoot in this look. Now, originally I was going to go to a location to shoot this Leia look, and that's partially why it got pushed for so many months, because I kept waiting for the opportunity to go and shoot there, but honestly, with COVID restrictions, it's just not going to happen anytime soon. So I decided to make my own backdrop and do my own Cloud City look so I could actually finally shoot this cosplay. We started off with my back door. <laughs> Very simple. And then I created this green screen look because I wanted the Cloud City windows. That was very important to get the best spin effect. Tried to get my makeup as close to Leia's as possible. A lot of the photos are iffy quality <laughs> just because of the time. And there, some of them are a little blurry and not close up with her makeup, but I did my interpretation of a best spin makeup look and used as many reference pictures as I could. And now to put the fabulous cape on and get the filming started. I did get a wig for this as well and I styled it with the two braided loops that is from Empire Strikes Back as well. My hair is currently green so I couldn't use my normal hair so I did get a brown long wig and, and braid it this way. <laughs> and here's the basic look of what I was shooting in front of to green screen out the windows to give the Cloud City vibe. I even have little flats that look like hers that I was super proud of because I already had them, but I'm pretty sure you can't see my feet in any of these photos. Hey, I haven't opened my best bin Funko, so I figured that was some appropriate attire to do such a thing. So 
um, originally um, I got this cosplay a couple months ago and it was pushed for weather conditions. <laughs> it's a lot of layers for summer and um, then we got went into like Halloween and Christmas and all that stuff and then also I really wanted to shoot um, Bespin Cloud City Leia at this location that I know that I thought was really pretty but it's just COVID is not going to allow that anytime soon so I went ahead and created my own Cloud City for this cosplay so I hope you guys like the little set that I made to um, show off this beautiful cosplay that is this is one of my dream cosplays to do and um, yeah I'm pretty excited um, I might do some fitting adjustments as as I have it more and make it more comfortable for me but I'm excited to do Bespin Leia because it's been one of my dream cosplays since I was little a little bit so it's technically there's the pants the dress the belts and the beautiful cape and then also my shoes which I had which totally look like her shoes you probably can't see them in most of the pictures but it's accurate <laughs> oh and my my wig that I'm still adjusting and working with too to do the best bin loops all that jazz and then the makeup that I tried to get to look like Carrie's as close as I could Moving on to Poison Ivy. This is a look that I've known I was going to do for a long time. I got the dress for it months ago because I thought I would do it sooner and then it got pushed and other things and Halloween happened and Christmas happened so it was pushed and I was surprised that this particular cosplay actually won my one year anniversary of cosplay votes on my cosplay Instagram. So you guys voted to see this one sooner than I had planned. I'm gonna do this for Ivy out the bra straps. <laughs> it's a starting point before I add all of the poison ivy flavor. Here we have just some of the process of really making the dress how I envisioned my poison ivy. And of course, a lot of that was attaching ivy to it. Some of the strands I just attached with the leaves still on the branch so that they looked like they were ivy kind of tied around me on the top bust and around the waist there and then we started adding in just the individual leaves around the top of the dress shout out to my mom who actually sewed a lot of these individual leaves on for me while i was working so she's a rock star From there, I had the green top that I had dyed green for this look and the Grinch look, as well as some green nylons. And then we had this necklace type neck piece that I just wanted around the collar of the shirt that was just the ivy leaves attached to it there. Thought about doing it as a choker or just a necklace and it ended up just going around the collar of the dress and then having the loose ivy wrapped around my arms to kind of like hold it like a shawl, if you will. This is how the backdrop started before I gothamed it. I had so much ivy left over that it was perfect to use for my backdrop and pulled some of my normal house plants in to give some actual plant life. I'm gonna do in the combination of the real plants and the fake plants for Ivy, Miss Pamela. Last minute making my barrettes because I wanted some Ivy in my hair but not too much so I just attached some of the leaves to some barrettes to clip into my wig. All right, last minute stuff for Ivy. I had to get myself an energy drink because it's very late or early depending on how you look at it and I'm just about to start getting my makeup on but that's how that's how I roll and makeup time was really just my interpretation of Ivy with references to uh, the cartoons the movies some comics and just how I kind of wanted my Ivy look to be Testing. 
It's testing out shots here to see how I wanted to place my camera. Also, what specific lighting I wanted to use for this. I was toying with going with the full green light because I really liked the aesthetic of it, but then I didn't know if I would blend in too much. But when I switched it to this gold light, I really didn't like it as much, so we switched back to the green light. Wicked, evil, evil, evil Mrs. Mrs. Thomas. I don't control a company that leveled a thousand year old forest for a strip mine. Drive me crazy. I just can't sleep. I'm so excited. I'm in too deep. made these little ivy barrettes um then we have the green shirt with the ivy on the neckline the dress which has the ivy vines on it and individual ones and i also have these green tights here going on i think that's pretty much all the pieces and my makeup various greens and of course the red lip I will show you guys the edit of what I wanted my first Ivy look to look like and what it turned out as it is pretty close. I'm sure I will do a variety of different Ivies in the future because I love the character, but yeah, this is my first Ivy look and yes, my Christmas tree is still up in my office. Alright, I think I am done with Ivy for the day. I hope you guys enjoy my version of Miss Pamela. I'm tired. When you don't have the cosplay on or the wig or in the lighting, you look a little overdressed in the makeup department when you look at yourself <laughs> in the mirror. This is me putting back all of my house plants, well, some of my house plants after the Ivy video because they don't all go in my office. So, cheers. Then we move on to an updated version of Dana slash Zul from the Ghostbusters. Shout out to one of my patrons who helped me get this new look. So I had previously done a version of Dana with just kind of a sweater, but this is really like a full look. It's a full dress that I was so happy to find for this look and a little bit more detail on the makeup and things like that. So it's definitely a more high quality and full version of Dana slash Zul. Here is the first try-on of the dress, which, like I said, I was super happy to find this particular dress because it was really the vibe for what I was going for for Dana. Don't forget that contour. Contour is key when cosplaying Dana Zool. Test shots again before we put the wig on, so look a little crazy. So I feel like I need to document. I just took off my wig for Dana and Ghostbusters, but um, I really like this dress that I found for Dana. It's like the right material and that's a whole other thing. But anyway, it's so cold today. So we have Christmas pajama pants and sock slippers on under Dana. So me trying to be sexy while I'm my PJ pants underneath. There's the behind the scenes footage for you. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you briefly that there was this couple different versions of like a costume, uh, Dana from Ghostbusters, and all of the reviews basically said that it was like 
a potato sack. The material was horrible. You, it wasn't the right size, all of those things. And I was like, oh my God, why would I waste my money on that? Because I like didn't think I was gonna find the right thing. And then I stumbled across this, which not only has the right shine to it and is the red off the shoulder. It has the belt that goes with it and it was just such a good find and it was way cheaper than the stupid costume that everyone said was horrible so you can kind of see like the shimmer and everything because hers like definitely has like shimmer and like it's not like a normal dress that she wears in Ghostbusters. I have so much contour on my cheeks and my nose and my eyebrows because her full-on high contoured 80s look <laughs> that we all adore but yeah and then I thought I didn't realize the dress came with a belt I was gonna get a belt for it but it came with it and yeah I hope you guys enjoy the updated I did like like a <laughs> like a closet cosplay um version of Dana a while ago, like last year or so ago so I hope you guys enjoy the full updated version also something I never thought I would have to do is make sure that my shoulder had enough highlighter on it never had to worry about that before until today's cosplay and that's all folks I hope you enjoyed my princess Leia bestman look like I said it was one of my dream cosplays to do so I'm so glad that I was able to do it maybe one day I'll get to go to that one location I wanted to shoot at once COVID chills out <laughs> I don't know um, I also hope you enjoyed Ivy that's another one that I know I've wanted to cosplay for years and years so that was great to bring that to life I am sure I will do various versions of Ivy in the future because I love the character and then of course I am a huge Ghostbusters fan so being able to do like a full Dana sexy Zool look was super fun and I hope you guys enjoyed these three cosplays thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video